Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I've got a little bit different style of video. I'm just gonna be sitting at the computer, color grading some Cine Like D footage from the GH5. And I'll just show you kind of how I went from this image to this image. If you're new here, my name is Caleb and I've been doing freelance video production since 2012, but this channel is to help you make your own videos, whether you just started or you've been making them for a while, whether you use the GH5 or any other camera. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, my wife and I went out for some coffee and it was starting to snow just a little bit. And so I thought I'd take some Cine Like D footage um, just with the snow falling and you know, with her puffy hood. I just thought it looked really good. So um, let's go ahead and we're going to take um, the clip here and we're just going to create an in out point. And I'm just going to drag the video down to a new timeline. Now, a lot of this should be very similar if you're in, you know, Final Cut Pro or if you're in Resolve. I don't know exactly those um, how to go about doing all of this in those programs, but the process should be very, very similar. And I use Adobe Premiere Pro, as you can see, um, and I usually get some pretty good results with it. So, okay, so now I have the clip down in the timeline. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring just a couple more clips down, um, maybe this one of her walk-in uh, of her walking down. Uh, let's let's take this one. There's a little bit more snow in here, so let's take this one. And I'm just going to create an out point, and I'm just going to drag this down. And um, we're not going to edit this part to any music or anything. But I just want to show you how, when I go to you know color grade some of this footage, how I do it so that it's kind of a little bit easier of a process, um, going from clip to clip and that type of thing. So okay, so. If, so we have this first clip right here. She's just drinking some coffee that we got. And let me tell you something, it was really good coffee. We also got a chocolate chip cookie and um, that chocolate chip cookie was amazing. All right, so I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna go to a new um, item and I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer. And so I have got that adjustment layer and I've got all the settings where I want them. And now I did shoot this footage in um, 4K60 on the GH5 and I actually went and interpreted all of this footage and took it down from that um, 60 frames per second down to the um, you know 23.98 and to do that I just you know highlighted everything you can see here and then I went to um, modify and interpret footage and that'll come up and I I click on this assume this rate is and then I type in 23.98 and that'll slow all those clips down to where I want it in a 24 or 23.98 um, timeline so all right so now I have the adjustment layer and I'm going to bring it up here. And now this is where I'm going to make some of my, um, you know, color adjustments, basically. I'm just going to, you know, do some of the correction. Now, I did white balance um, before I started shooting. And so um, things should be fairly white balanced. Um, but you'll see that when I go to put my LUT on, um, it'll make it look a little colder. So we'll have to make some adjustments coming up. But for right now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to make my adjustments. And you can see the, the you know, Cine D is a little bit flat. It's not super flat like a V-Log, but it is flatter. And so I had my zebra stripes on the GH5. I had those set to um, 95 so that, um, at 95, I was starting to get those those highlight clips. So I knew to keep everything kind of below that. And everything was pretty well balanced as I was shooting these different clips. Um, so there shouldn't be much like exposure changes and things like that. But um, the very first thing I'm gonna do is, and this is pretty much the process I use all the time. Um, I don't shoot in Cine D a lot, um, but even just if I'm shooting in the vlog or if I'm shooting in natural, this is kind of the process that I go with. And so I'm gonna take this first adjustment layer and let's see, I'm just gonna extend it here to the edges, but okay. So I'm gonna take these blacks and bring up my scopes and I'm gonna bring these blacks down to where I'm almost 
almost just like kissing that zero line right there. And then I'm gonna bring the whites up until, and I don't want things clipped. I'm gonna go probably like the whitest part, probably about 95, somewhere in that range right there. Um, Maybe down just a little bit so it's closer to 90. I don't think I want it blown out too much there. So maybe somewhere in there, kind of that, like the whitest part, like right up here in the sky, like that part is gonna be in the 90s, right? Like basically right on that 90 line right there. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is, since it's a little bit flatter of a profile, I'm actually gonna bring saturation up here. And so I go and click on the creative tab and I'm just gonna bring the saturation up. up. Oh, sorry, I just blew into the mic, my bad. I'm going to bring it up to a point where I like it. I might need to adjust this a little bit more um, later on once I get the LUT on. But I just want to bring the saturation up just a little bit just to add just a little bit more depth to it. Okay, and then after I'm at that point, I go down to curves, and this is still all first on, on this first adjustment layer, because here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make these corrections on the first adjustment layer. I'm gonna create another adjustment layer and put the LUT on, and that LUT layer is gonna be able to go just across the board here. And then we'll go back to this first adjustment layer and make some final tweaking um, to get the image really where where I want it. So, okay, so now I'm here, I'm gonna be making an S curve over here and I'm just going to, there's just a little bit more that I wanna bring down in those blacks. And so now you can really start seeing a change in the image. And you know, before when I was making those slider adjustments, I left a little bit of, of headway there. So I can, so I was able to come into this curve and really um, make those adjustments that I wanted to make. So I think I'm happy with this and you can see this image really starting to take shape. Okay, so here's some of those basic corrections that I made. I'm gonna take it off and there's the flat image um, from the Cine D and here we have some of the corrections I made. And as you can tell, I mean, it's already looking pretty good. I mean, it's, it's pretty good right there. So, um, okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the another adjustment layer. And this is actually where I'm going to add my LUT. And so, like I said, this LUT one is gonna go all the way across the board because I want a consistent look. And then I can go back here and make other adjustments um, in this first one. So, this first adjustment layer. So this top one is where I'm gonna um, put my LUT on and I'm going to use the LUT that I have for you for free, the, the CH YouTube LUT, and I'm just gonna apply it to this and now we have a dramatic change in the image. So let me take, let me take this off. So there is the Cine D right out of camera at um, 4K 60, it's 8-bit. Um, Cine D in 8-bit is, I, I feel like it's all right to use. I mean, I get a good image, good quality. Now here is the first level of adjustments that I made and here's the second level of adjustments I made with the LUT and that is just applying the LUT right there. Now with this image, I think it's, I think it would be fine because it's, you're outside, it's kind of snowy, so you have the snowflake, so you kind of, you're all right with a cold image, something like that. But what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna warm it up a little bit because I, in some of these um, gray areas, I just want like like over here in this building, I just want some of those a little bit warmer. So what I'm actually gonna do now that I have the LUT applied, so I'm gonna go back to that first adjustment layer and now I can go in and mit, just kind of fine tune some of those adjustments. And so the very first one I'm gonna do is go back to the basic uh, correction. And I'm gonna just take this um, temperature slider under the white balance. I'm just gonna warm the image up just a little bit. And as you can see, you can already start seeing some of those changes 
in like that building in the background and um, kind of up here in the the furry hood um, that my wife has there. And so I think I'm going to keep going and keep warming it up to a point where I like it. And this is the this is the beauty of this thing. Like you can make it however you want to make it. It is your video. You can make the adjustments, warm it up as much as you want, make it as cold looking as you want. And so I still have some pretty good levels here. If you go over to the scopes, um, everything seems to be pretty balanced. And I'm happy with, um, with a warmer image like this, and I'm happy with where all the scopes are. Um, so like I said, you make the adjustments that you would wanna make but for right now, I want to make this temperature just a little bit warmer in this image. Okay, so one of the things I'm going to do as well is it's a little, I don't know if it's a little just too contrasty for me. Um, I'm going to just bring the contrast up a little bit. And this might change um, as I go along. And it will definitely change from um, shot to shot. But I think I'm going to bring... I'm thinking I'm gonna kind of expand these scopes here a little bit and I'm just gonna bring this up and make it just a little, little, not less contrasty, I guess, but more contrasty and just kind of deepen the image a little bit. And that's kind of what that contrast does. So I'm gonna bring it up to, I don't know, maybe somewhere in there and I think what that's going to do is just really like add more depth to the image. And I know earlier I said less contrast, but actually what is what I meant to say was add more contrast just to bring in some more uh, depth here in the background. Um, let's see here. I think what I'm going to do next is I, I, it's a little bit dark kind of in these shadow areas. And so I'm going to just raise the shadows a little bit and I'm going to bring the shadows up maybe right about there I think kind of to I think that looks good that just kind of lightens up those shadows just a little bit to get a little bit of those details in there now and you'll see in my scopes here I don't have any blacks that are crushed and my highlights are still very close to where I want them around that 90 to 95 range. So I'm still happy with where that's at. Let me bring, let me bring, I usually like bringing the highlights down just a little bit so it's not overwhelming in the highlights. I think that's good. I think that is an overall good image. Now, one of the things I wanna do um, since you know, my wife is standing right here in the middle, um, you know, sipping her coffee. It's snowing since she's kind of centered right here in the image. I think what I'm going to do is actually add a little bit of a like a vignette around this. And I think that's just going to help her in the center of the image just, you know, pop a little bit more. And it's going to add a little bit more contrast to these edges. And so let's go down to the vignette and I'm going to just bring that down. And as you'll see, that right there really creates that the darker edges and really brings your attention right to the center of the image. And I really think it adds a lot of depth to the to the sides as well. So um, let's just play through this. Oh, yeah, I like that look. Okay, so let's uh, take a look with the LUT off and with the adjustment layer off. So there is the start of the image and here is what we ended up with right there. And I think that looks pretty good. And don't, don't forget, you can download that LUT for free along with um, a few others. And I'll have the link down in the description. Now, let me show you something with going on to another clip now usually what i do when i'm color grading is i will take the changes that i made in one clip and i'll drag it over to the next clip but what you're going to see is that you're going to actually see some clipping in some of these blacks so like on this part of the image right here 
that's basically this window area is like you're going to start seeing some clipping and i personally i don't like clipping in my image and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to separate these clips right there and now i have a separate you know adjustment it's close to what this is going to be but now i can make adjustments just for this clip and so i can go back up here and i can go to um this black slider and i can just bring those blacks up here and get them get them to a point where i'm happy with them not crushing and um there i might just need to bring actually the curve up just a little bit too but right there i'm happy with that the blacks in that window are no longer crushing and i still have my LUT adjustment layer right here. So I take that off and then I take the adjustments that I, the, like the color correction adjustments off. So that for this image, that's what it looks like. And back on. And so what I feel like this does is that when you do it this way, it kind of creates a consistent look throughout your whole video. And now if there's some clips where you have some major changes, then you have to, you know, obviously make those adjustments for each clip. You know, color grading is not just slapping a LUT on for the whole thing. I wish it was that easy, but you'll need to go in and you'll need to make those, those little tweaks, those little adjustments um, to get it where you want to be. All right, so I'm going to leave you with this um, just little um, segment that I put together with some music. Um, of us on a little walk in the snow grabbing coffee um, again make sure you comment down below um, anything that you do when you go to color grade your videos that might help the you know gh5 community and you know thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video